Hi, my name is Susan and welcome to Fired Frog Pottery Cafe. In this video today, I'd like to provide you with a tip on pottery painting. And what I'm going to explain is how we can get a really even, thick, solid coverage of paint without any streaky marks. So you can see it on an item like this that is a hat of a gnome. It can be used on areas like this, the rim of a plate, or even just within a design such as this rainbow here. Now, how we achieve this is to provide, is to make sure we do three solid coats of paint. We're using this paint here and I'm just going to pick a red color. And I would also say use the largest brush you can for the space that you've got. So if I was covering a, a big area such as this, I would use a big brush such as this fan brush to place the paint on and, and get it done quite quickly before it dries. So if I'm covering this tile here, let me choose a wide-ish flat brush. And I just wanna show you how I would apply paint to this. If I wanted a solid red tile, just plain red all over it, I need to get a lot of paint onto my brush and think of it like applying it a little bit like nail varnish. So what you want to do is just put it over the surface like this. What you don't want is it to get dry like this. So you're looking to achieve an even covering by lots of paint on the brush, such as this, okay? So what you'll want to do is do a full coat using your big flat brush, and then you wait for that to dry before you do a second coat. So I'm gonna give this whole thing here a full coat of paint over this particular tile. And yes, I can see some paint strokes at the moment, but that doesn't matter. So I'm just layering up coat number one. Okay, so that almost dries instantly. It soaks right into the pottery. The pottery is very dry when you first get it. Um, it's been in the kiln once already, so it's already dried out slightly. So this paint, it's probably already dry. There's a tiny little bit of wetness there, whilst, um, which is the last bit I did, but that layer is almost dry. So I'm gonna start my second layer. I'm gonna start over here and layer up again. And this layer almost just completely sits on the top. It's not as dry now, the pottery. It's already got a layer of paint to sink on. And what I tend to do is do my paint strokes in one direction so that if there ever is any little bits where the paint strokes show, it all looks really neat and tidy. Okay. So you can see how this is just sitting on the surface really nicely. It's a very light touch, I'm not pressing hard, and I'm constantly picking up new paint, putting it on the brush to apply it to the tile. Okay, so that is layer number two. Now this will take a little bit longer to dry. So essentially, you are now watching a video with paint drying. <laughs> Um, so as, and it's important that you do allow these layers time to dry in between, otherwise it kind of ends up being, you know, one and a bit layers, two and a bit layers, it all kind of mudges and merges into one. So do a layer, let it fully dry. First layer dries quickly. Do a second layer, let it dry. And then your third layer. So this is nearly dry now. If I kind of move it, you can see there's slight wet reflections. So you do need a little bit of patience and obviously if you are doing a larger area such as this, it's gonna take you a longer time, but that's why we use a bigger brush for a bigger area. This tile isn't actually a very big area, so this size brush is absolutely fine, but I would use the biggest brush that you have for the space and it will mean that you'll apply the paint quickly and efficiently and there'll be less brush strokes. So this looks dry enough for me to pop the third coat on. Um, and you can see even with the paint being um, you know, wet and unglazed um, and not been in the kiln yet, you can see that this is a nice solid colour. Um, the colour will change a lot. So this colour I'm using here, this red, is this red here. So the difference between the colour of the paint before going in the kiln and after is obviously quite different. The colours get brighter and more vibrant. But if you can see paint strokes before the item has gone in the kiln, you'll see them afterwards. So if it's smooth, even coverage now, when the paint is being applied before it's gone through the kiln, 
it will look smooth, even coverage once it's gone through the kiln. Okay, so that is our three layers applied to this tile. So I'm gonna leave this to dry fully. We usually leave things a good 24 hours before we put stuff in the kiln, and it just means the glaze is properly dried. So I'm gonna leave this to dry and that will go in the kiln. But I hope you find this helpful. Um, it will help you to get solid, even coverage on items where you want it to be solid and even. So thank you so much. For more information about Fired Frog Pottery and our cafe and takeaway baskets, please visit www.firedfrogpottery.co.uk. Thanks very much.